The list of Trump allies tied to crimes has been picking up new names for years. Start with Steve Bannon. I stand with Trump and the Constitution. Trump's firebrand advisor was slapped with a fine and four months in prison for ignoring a congressional subpoena about the attack on the Capitol. His time behind bars is on hold while he appeals. He's also pleaded not guilty to New York state charges of money laundering, conspiracy, and fraud. They will never shut me up and kill me for it. Alan Weisselberg, Trump's longtime chief financial officer, is serving five months for tax fraud and was ordered to pay $2 million in back taxes, interest, and penalties. Paul Manafort, once Trump's campaign chairman. From day one, I always thought they were targeting me and a couple of others to try and get at the president, the president then the candidate Trump, and then President Trump. He's agreed to pay more than $3 million to the government over his tax violence. He spent two years in prison for bank and tax fraud, illegal foreign lobbying, and more before Trump pardoned him. Rick Gates pleaded guilty to aiding and abetting Manafort in concealing $75 million in foreign bank accounts. He spent 45 days in jail and became a government informant. The next president of the United States, right here. Trump pardoned Michael Flynn, once his national security advisor, who admitted lying to the FBI about his contact with Russia. Then he tried to walk that admission back. Flynn's now suing the government, alleging malicious prosecution. Advisor George Papadopoulos got 12 days for lying to investigators in the Russia probe. He was pardoned. George Nader was an informal campaign advisor who pleaded guilty to sex crimes. Elliot Brody, a fundraiser, pleaded guilty to running a secret lobbying campaign. Roger Stone was convicted of lying to Congress. Trump pardoned him, too. And there is former Trump attorney Michael Cohen, confined nearly three years after committing several crimes, including campaign finance violations. He now routinely calls for accountability for his former boss. Everyone needs to be held to the same standard of the law, and that includes former presidents. None of this proves Donald Trump committed any crimes before, during, or after his presidency, but it does give his critics a lot to say about the company he keeps. John? Yes, it does. Tom Foreman, thank you very much.